Todd, let's go back to our conversation about this mandated international change of our Freon. And I'm going to use the word Freon just because that's how homeowners understand it. It's that, okay. it's, that, it's that product in your air conditioner that converts from a gas to a liquid and is a result of moving the heat out of your house and giving you cool living inside or moving the heat from outside into your house and giving you a little heat yeah, in the winter. Correct. So all the new mandates... When we went from R22 to 410, was the equipment any better? I, no. The R22 equipment, the refrigerant worked a little bit better transferring heat. It than did. The yeah, because the 410 is just a blend. Okay. Um, so, now, so now we're transitioning again. Are we losing more efficiency now? No, actually, it's the opposite. The is it, are we gaining? We're gaining. The one, so the new equipment is more expensive. We're, we're, see, we're hearing 8 to 12% price increases. We haven't seen pricing on it yet. Okay. Um, but the one upside to it is it is it has a much better performance characteristic. So what we're seeing, some of the products that we're looking at right now, um, the initial output data is showing that we're going to see four tons per performing better than five ton units and what i mean by that is every air conditioning unit has what's called an i extension. like that yeah that's i correct. like that so every air conditioning unit has what's called an extended rating right so they're rated to perform a certain uh, deliver a certain amount of cooling and the tonnage is effectively this, the amount of cooling it delivers so right. they're rated at 85 degrees and then when you get into 115 <laughs> degrees it doesn't produce what it used to produce right so like a five ton is effectively should be a sixty thousand btu BTU just a measurement of energy that effectively is a measurement of cooling. Uh, it, it's you know 12,000 BTUs per ton, five tons, 60,000. Well, 60,000 BTU five ton air conditioning unit 410A produces probably 37,000 BTUs at 115 degrees on average, maybe 37.5. So you've got about 20% drop. Yeah, more than at, that. Yeah. At, at that temperature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right. 37. I mean, you're you're looking at more like 35% drop. Uh, okay. Right? Just doing quick math in my head. Uh, 38% I think. Okay. Um, and so the new equipment, we're seeing preliminary equipment coming in at 50 to 55,000 BTUs on okay. a five ton. And we're seeing four tons producing 45 to 50,000 BTUs. So what that means is the new four ton is going to produce more cooling than a five ton. Than a five ton at the high outdoor temperatures, right? So, which is all we care about in Phoenix, Arizona, right? Right. So, and that's not all equipment, but that's what we're seeing so far. So there is going to be a big benefit to the cooling deliverance, the energy efficiency of the equipment, uh, because the refrigerant just transfers heat better. So. Well, that's the, that's the good news of the deal. Yeah. The bad news is uh, we're not going to be able to get the equipment for a few months, most likely. Uh, but, it, but it will be that soon. Uh, we've got one manufacturer that's going to be delivering equipment late September, early October. Oh, okay. And All then right. we have others. The production line varies by product type. Uh, but we're we're being told October, November ish, probably October. Rosie, Rosie on the house, every Arizona homeowner's best friend.